Hello everybody, surprise late night stream, bet you didn't see it coming. We're gonna shoot some bears because I was feeling like jumping on and shooting some bears, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go smoke some bears. Hope everybody's been doing amazing tonight. We're about to get into the action. Thank you, Jebo. We're gonna do our best. We're gonna see how things go. I need to change my loadout actually, now that I think of it. I need to go to the bear hunters loadout. The uh the loadout that only uh the true like uh professionals use. The bear the bear hunters specialty. Hey funny bird man, how's it going? Hey clever bison. Got your first diamond red deer today. Nice dude, that's awesome. Hey Ghost Rider, how's it going? How many great ones do I have? Currently 31 of them, uh Lewis. Currently 31. Primarily because uh, I still don't have the great one I want for a couple species, <laughs> like... Most of those are whitetail, because I still don't have the rack that I've been wanting all along. It's unfortunate. You guys may notice we got a pull up as well. I decided to put a pull up for uh, the bear grind to see what you guys think, because... I want to know what you guys want to see. So be sure to vote on the poll with whatever you want to see. Not what you think is going to win, but what you think you actually want to see me do with the bears. Can't promise we'll go exactly what gets uh, voted, but it'll be a, a baseline of like reference for Decisions going forward with the bears for sure feeling a great one a 500 or 5500 kills and one mental illness. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go crazy by the time we get it. That's for sure at this rate We're definitely gonna go crazy These bears are something else like they just they just are I don't know. There's something oddly addicted addictive about hunting bears, but at the same time they drive me crazy I don't know how to put it They drive me crazy but at the same time, they're kind of fun. Thank you, Goat5. I appreciate that. How long have I been playing for? Uh, since the beginning of the game, Chicken. Since the beginning of the game back in December of 2016 when they released a, uh, a closed beta to uh, random people that got shows when they signed up with their email. I got lucky enough to be a part of that, and uh, yeah, played the game ever since. Took a little bit of a break at one point, but we spent a lot of time playing this game at this point. No berry boys over here. Curious if we got one down here. I should probably check some of these zones that we haven't been to recently. Definitely could be something there. I have I've done lodge tours recently off road, guys. I'm not going to do another one yet. It hasn't been nearly long enough. How many hours do I have in the game? Currently 5,306, I believe. What's the easiest crate one I've gotten? I mean, I don't think any of them were easy. There's definitely some that I got quickly, but definitely none that were like easy, I would say. Uh, I wouldn't do it, uh, Tinbot. The moderators are pretty adamant about no adding Scarecrow in the uh, Discord. In the streams, it's fine because it highlights the name and I can see like when somebody's asking me a question, but in the Discord, um, it's better to send me a PM than it is to tag me in the, uh, in the Discord. You play any other games? Yeah, it goes right I play quite a few different games. Oh, uh, whenever they have a big update, Off-Road Guys. Waiting for a big update for American Marksman. Whenever they do a big update, that's when we'll, uh, play some more of it. Because right now, there's not a lot of, like, trophies to acquire. All of the stuff in American Marksman is pretty, like, uh, common. Like, all the big ones are pretty common. 
So I, I won't really do any content until we get some type of update on it to give me more stuff to do. Mr. Bear! I mean, if you're just gonna sit there, like, it would be rude of me not to oblige and take the shot, you know? What would I want to be the next great one? I'd like to see, like, a black-tailed deer or a mule deer or an elk. Um, but of the species that I really think it would be, I feel like it's likely to be Euro bison or fallow deer. Out of those two, I'd prefer fallow. So I'm hoping that we'll get one. But we shall see. Yeah, pretty much, deer killer. Pretty much. Like, he, uh, he shouldn't have stood up and just, like, stared me down. He gave me that look of, like, I want to fight you. And I was like, okay. 338 wins. <laughs> Hey, Luke, I'm doing good. Hopefully you're doing good as well. It's way further down here. Uh, yeah, the new weapons are pretty good, uh, Ghost Rider. Oh, and I just realized I forgot to put an option in the poll, so I'm going to repost the poll. Okay, there we go. I streamlined it a little bit more. I felt like there was too many things on the poll that meant basically the same thing, but like slightly different. So it should be a lot more like uh, straightforward with the poll now. Holy smokes. the uh, <laughs> It's bouncing back and forth so much. That's crazy. This is the, that is the first time I've seen a poll bounce back and forth between every answer. It just like... Just bounce back and forth between all of them. <laughs> That's crazy. Today I had my friends over for my birthday. Got 100 bucks and I'm happy. Nice, JR. That's awesome, dude. Man, I remember being a kid and like... Uh, I remember I was always like so excited for birthday money. Because like, you know, gifts are amazing, right? But, like, you never know if somebody's going to get you a gift that you'll actually use. And so as a kid, I was always happy whenever I got, like, a, like a birthday card with, like, five bucks in it or something. Because then I was like, oh, yeah, I can put this towards, like, something that I've been wanting to get. It was always an exciting time. Always an exciting time as a kid. Any tips for the Red Deer grind? Um, it's been a bit since I've hunted red deer, but I would recommend T. Albaroa as the map to hunt them on clever. And, uh, I would say probably the best tip I can give you is all the red deer are going to be in the north half of the map for the most part. There's a few exceptions, but the majority of red deer zones are going to be above the river in all those lakes up there, except for the two sandy lakes on the right. If you look below the, like, middle of the river, there is that lake next to the starting outpost. That can also have red deer. And then two spots kind of in the middle of the river can have them as well. Uh, Tiawaro is so easy for red deer that it should be pretty easy to find everything. Oh, no, Bobby, really? Ah, oh, freaking YouTube, dude. YouTube just doesn't know what to do sometimes. There's our pet level two. 
Nothing there. Um, what do we want to do? You bounce over here. We've been hunting like just four zones recently, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, they definitely are cool looking, Maple. I wish they had more fur variations, but the uh, the antlers are pretty cool. Definitely unique. Definitely unique to say the least. You got two level nines last run and a cinnamon the run before. That is crazy, Cooper. Doing good. Yeah, FNG pretty much. <laughs> or like, I mean, a lot of times actually like when I was growing up, a lot of my, uh, for a lot of my birthdays, like my best friend would always get me like, like one of the gifts that I really wanted because they just knew me so well. Usually it would be like relatives that I hadn't seen in ages that would send me like a card with some money in it. Because they just didn't know what I liked, right? Uh, doves would be cool, Schrader. I'd like doves. What should you hunt on SRP, not bears? Um, how about pronghorn? Can't go wrong with a pronghorn hunt. The great thing about the pronghorn too is you don't even have to go to drink zones. You can just uh, you can just hunt them in what's it called? They're like uh, feeding zones. Well, <laughs> three bears down. What do you know? That was beautiful. That's awesome to hear, Judson. That's awesome. I try my best. I try to keep it as friendly as we can. At least for the Call of the Wild streams. Level 6 there. Then we have two more over here. Nice. You know what? That's awesome, dude. You ever played DayZ? Yeah, I've played DayZ before. Long time ago. I haven't played a lot of DayZ standalone. I primarily played uh, DayZ mod on Arma 2. Arma 2 DayZ mod is just... Some of my best memories in like uh, my early times of playing video games on a PC. Like me and a buddy of mine used to jump on there all the time and then um, my wife and I played some of it as well a while back. It was always a fun time. Hey Willie, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing real good. What map am I on right now? This is Silver Ridge Peaks, uh, Steve. Good old Silver Ridge Peaks. Shot a troll seeking deer on Xbox. I was mad today in my PlayStation, or in my PlayStation, I went to the exact same spot and found a diamond. Nice, dude, that's awesome. Love to see it. You love to see it. Diamond Seeker have always been, I feel, one of the most underrated diamonds in the game. They look so good. Nothing here. This has been such a weird zone, like... Every time that I've had a tent here, we never get any bears there. But like, whenever I abandon it for a while and then come back, there's always a few bears. I think we need to go to a few zones we don't normally go to. See if we can kind of get some of the respawns moving around to different areas. Me too, Schrader. They look so good. Hey, Corgis. How's it going? Hope you're doing good. You didn't miss too much. We just started 15 minutes ago. Um, I don't know if you saw it yesterday, but we did the uh, we did a bear stream yesterday since you had wanted one. My internet was giving me problems the previous night, so I wasn't able to do it uh, the day that I wanted to. But we ended up doing it last night, and... Now we're here with bears once again. What do I think is the best diamond? I don't know what I think the best diamond is, but my favorite diamond is the red deer. Just because of how massive and stunning they look. Like even to this day, even though I've killed hundreds of diamond red deer through herd management. I still like seeing diamond red deer because they look really good. They just look so amazing that it doesn't get old.
What species do you hunt IRL? Uh, if not, what is your favorite animal in Call of the Wild? Uh, I can actually answer both of those. Uh, IRL, I've only gone for black-tailed deer and Roosevelt elk, really. Never had luck with either, sadly. Um, I went out once for, like, can't remember what bird it was. I think it was... I don't remember what bird it was. I briefly went out for bird bird hunting with uh, an uncle of mine, but didn't get anything then either. And then in game, some of my favorite species to hunt are the white-tailed deer. Uh, I really like the moose hunting. Um, pretty much any of the upland birds are always fun. Lots of fun stuff. Nice, Corgi's nice. What FOV do I like to play on? I'm currently on 75, SK. I used to play on 90, but, um, I don't know. I felt like for, at least as a content creator, having a slightly lower FOV at about 75, which is kind of a middle ground of what I normally do and what the default is. And I just feel like it, it fits really well for a hunting game. Uh, but if I'm playing like a first person shooter, I always go to 90 FOV or as high as it'll let me. But, uh, I've noticed something with Call of the Wild, like, I tend to... I tend to like something in the middle. 75 has felt really good. It's interesting we got a female bear here. Like, in a brand new zone. I can't think I've... I can't think of any time that I've killed a female, so I don't know why we'd have a new zone with a female here. Nice, Kirby. Nice, dude. No males? I don't think there's any males here. Oh. Female. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we have any males here. We'll check down below, though. Every once in a while, we gotta go check these, like, outer areas to see if we got any big males popping up over here. There's a lot of places on the map I just don't like to hunt because they take forever to hunt or the bears are like extra late to those zones. I try to just hunt the areas where I get the most bears, but like every once in a while we got to check the other zones to make sure that we haven't like had a bunch of our respawns bleed over into other areas. That's definitely happened in the past. Yeah, that's a female. Yeah, I don't think there's any males here. Uh, there's almost always a male here. Or not there. Uh, here. I don't know if there will be this time, though. We'll check here. Yeah, definitely, Bobby. Definitely. Alright, later, Ghost Rider. Easiest animal to hunt in the game? I don't know, to be honest. It's hard to say what's easiest, because it, it all depends on, like... The individual person. I mean, what's easy to me might not be easy to another person. So it's hard to say what the easiest species is. I mean, I could say the white tail's easiest, but that's just because I've learned them like it's nothing. I've spent so much time hunting them that I just know how to hunt them super fast. But like for other people, it might be a different species that is the easiest. Hey, Pop Man, how's it going? Yeah, probably, Schrader. I think we should. But, uh, you know, we gotta reserve that. We gotta reserve that. We can't call him Stinky yet. We'll call the Great One Bear Stinky if he doesn't show up by the end of the day. Uh, the map that we're currently on is Silver Ridge Peaks. Nothing over there. Now, we saw the tracks back here, which means there is a male there. We need to grab this one. They kind of loop around more so we can see uh, where that one is. 
Hey, hunting gods, how's it going, dude? We've just been uh, smoking some bears. Trying to get that great one bear to show up. Let's see what the poll's looking like. Holy, that's so close. That is so close. So right now the poll is 34% saying to manage the bears. 38% saying to shoot everything. 6% say to just manage the outer zones. So in other words, the zones I don't like hunting. And then 21% say to do what I feel like doing. That's a pretty close poll. 34, 39, and 21. Not much of a... Uh, separation between those three options. It really could go anyway by the end of the uh, stream. That's pretty crazy. Let's see if we can get this thing to show up. Hey, RT, how's it going? Wait, where is this bear? Oh, there it is. How you doing, buddy? Come on. Bro, really? I'm out of breath. No. Ah. Man. Unfortunate. 300 would never fail me like that. Yes, Pop Man. Bear grinds are very hard. Um, it's easily the most difficult great one grind. Yeah, Bobby, that's Aaliyah. Aaliyah's being silly. She's getting ready to, like, wind down for bed. Which is why this is just, like, a short late night stream. Probably won't go more than, like, an hour in total. There's a seven down here. Is there anything over there? Who knows? Guess we'll find out when we get there. No, we haven't got any trophies yet. What app do I use to count kills? Uh, my brain, RT. I just use my brain to count the kills. And then I just write it down in the, uh, like, notepad on my PC. This is how I do it, right? There's our pet level two. Um, what I do is... I will start a run and I'll be like, okay, we're going to do 10 minutes of just hunting as fast as I can, like, like I normally would, right? We'll do 10 minutes of a run like I normally would and see how many kills we have by the end of the 10 minutes. And then we'll multiply that by six to get a full like 60 minutes. And then whatever it equals, we'll just say that that's the average that I get per hour. And then we can use that to kind of estimate based on how long I grinded. Like, with Whitetail, 
We uh, calculated it out to where I kill about a hundred whitetail per hour. And so I just, if I grind for two hours, then that's 200 whitetail. And then I kind of compensate for like, if I had really bad luck on a run, then maybe I'll like dock like 20 whitetail from the total to kind of like compensate for that. That's how I do it though. It's nothing like too fancy. I have a pretty basic way of counting it. Because I don't want to have to be like updating a clicker or like uh, an app or something. I don't want to have to update it every time I shoot something. That would just get so tedious. So that's why I don't do that. Yeah, Bobby. <laughs> okay, I'll simplify it even more then, Bobby. Um, I know I kill this many per hour. If I hunt two hours, then I just take how much I would get per hour and multiply it by two. And boom, that's how many I killed. Uh, sure, RT. I mean... I can tell you right now, it's probably not going to be the same for you. That's usually how Call of the Wild goes. Almost never have, like, identical need zones to someone else. Like, I know quite a few people where they've got, like, a ton of male bears at a specific lake, but then I go there and it's just female bears. There's a lot of variance. That's one thing to keep in mind. There's a lot of variance. Speaking of males, we should go here and kill all the males that usually end up over in this area. Hmm. I'm wondering, where could we remove some tents from? I mean, this has kind of been a zone we haven't really gone to recently. I still want to leave it there, though, because there's always the off chance they could end up there. Tell you the complicated version? Okay, bro, bro. I'll, I'll, I'll say it again. I'll say it again. Okay, um, so what I do is I, I, I uh, for 10 minutes, <laughs> don't tell you. Oh, I'm telling you now. Well, oh, I'm telling you now. You got yourself into this. What I do is I'm like, okay, we're going to start the time now and we're going to shoot deer for 10 minutes and see how many we kill in that 10 minutes. Three? What the? There's three here. And then however many I kill in 10 minutes, I multiply it by 6 to get a total per hour. And then once I have a total per hour, at that point all I gotta do is be like, Okay, I grinded for 2 hours today, so I killed this many deer. It's actually pretty easy. It's about the least uh, tedious way I could do it. Because I don't have to constantly be like adding to like a an app on my phone or like a clicker or anything like that i know a lot of people like the clicker method using the clickers i don't i i just don't feel like i need a super exact number so i've never used them myself i just get a general estimate where'd that last bear go there it is I can't believe there was three bears at this zone. That's crazy. That is super crazy. Uh, yeah, Nicholas, I remember you. Those are bears? Well, yes, but I'm using whitetail as the... As the example, because that's, that's what I've done it on the most. Just got charged by a level 9 water buffalo. Would have been diamond, but shot it too many times. Oh, no. Feels bad. Feels bad. Level two female. Oh, what's that? Level six. Nice. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. It, it happens, Schrader. I mean, there's still a few diamonds that I don't have. A lot of rares I don't have as well. 
A lot of times you're going to get mainly what you go for. I go for a lot of great ones and don't go for a lot of like uh, small game or upland birds. So that's a uh, that's a lot of the stuff that I'm missing trophies of and waterfowl. Actually, I've got a lot of the upland bird stuff. I think it's mainly waterfowl and uh, small game. Like I'm missing the raccoon dog diamond. I'm missing the musk deer diamond. Missing the colored peccary diamond. I mean, I guess I wouldn't classify them as small game, but they're smaller game. Let's see if they're here instantaneously. Also, guys, we are 40 subs off of 109,000. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you enjoy the content and appreciate the work that goes into making daily content, then uh, if, you, if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe. We're getting super close to 109k. Super, super close. Level 4. Level 3. Alright, at least we got one male here. Now that we've done a little bit of a loop around a lot of the other zones, we're just going to bounce between all the zones here on the left side. And just uh, try to see if we can get them to always come back here. They kind of do that for a while, and then we got to go find where they went, usually. But we'll see how long we can just rotate on, like, three zones. Nice little baby level four there. Nice, Popman, nice. Yeah, the moose grind is one of my favorite grinds to do. Moose grind has been a lot of fun. I think whitetail's got to be my favorite grind, like the latent whitetail grind. Dude, double fives there. What is going on? This is like the seventh run in a row where we've had at least one level five at this lake. We always have like one to two bears here, occasionally three, and there's always a five. That's just crazy. There's always at least one five. What am I doing to get cursed with nothing but level fives? Feels like that's the only thing I get. How many bear great ones have I killed? Zero currently, Holden. I've got a ton of whitetail and moose and red deer, but no bears. No bears whatsoever. And we've killed about 4,000 bears over the entire time that they've been released for the uh, great one bear. Just never got it. What great ones do I have the most of? Oh, whitetail. Easily whitetail. I currently have 20 whitetail great ones, which is kind of insane. It's an absurd number. Yeah, it's unfortunate, Holden. We're approaching 4,000 kills at this point. Uh, let me check the exact number. Uh, we are currently at around 3,890 bears. Uh, probably just over 3,900 now, though, because we've killed at least 10 tonight. All right, let's head back over here. Yeah, exactly, Kirby. Six red deer and five moose. I believe I've got all of the different rack shapes for the red deer as well. Which is why we don't really grind for red deer anymore. Because we already got all the great ones that we could ever want. Only reason we keep going for whitetail is because I don't have the typical rack. And it's my number one favorite rack variation for whitetail. And of course, the one I want the most is the one that we don't have. Another five... It's the curse of the fives. Ooh, a seven. You know what? I will take that. Love me some level sevens. Hello, little bears. Where did that guy come from? Where was he hiding? Do you think the bear grind is the hardest great one grind? Yes, I do, Jake. It's definitely the hardest. In my experience, it is easily the most difficult. Uh, 
That's a female track. That means six red deer. Oh, yeah, I already read that. Honestly, never actually got a great one, probably because I don't play the game that much anymore, sadly. Yeah, I mean, great ones, they take a long time to get. So it's one of those things where don't feel bad if you don't have great ones. Great ones are something where in order to really, like, get them, you gotta, like, grind for them for the most part. And so don't, don't feel bad if you don't have one. It, it does take a lot of work. And it's definitely not for everybody. Uh, I haven't watched any fights in a long time, Wyatt. The last time I watched fights was... Real long time ago, at least 10 years ago, my dad used to watch like UFC. But I haven't watched anything recently. Alright, and the results of the poll are... Wow. That is insanely close. <laughs> okay, guys, so... Look at that. That is the results of the poll. 35% say to herd manage the bears. 35% say shoot everything. 23% say to do what I like, and 5% say only manage the outer zones, which would be like partial herd management. That is so split. That, that's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. Obviously, that poll is just to gauge, like, interest in different things. It's not a definitive yes or no to anything, but I wanted to see what the, uh, what the reception would be on that. Nice, Brandon. Yeah, that's a fun time. Definitely a fun time. Level four. Hey, it's not a five at least. That's a that's a positive, I I think. Also, look how insanely consistent they're being now. Like I've been we've just hunted two zones for the last like four runs. Bears are so weird. Like sometimes we'll get this to work where we can just hunt a couple zones. And then other times we have to go around the entire map just to get the respawns working. Bears are so weird, man. They're so weird. And like this time there's only one bear, sometimes there's three. I'm guessing there'll be at least two over here now since there's only one at that lake. Oh nice, Talon. How long is this stream gone? Uh, 40 minutes. It's only been going for 40 minutes, Flames. Uh, it's it's completely RNG, Deer Hunter, so if you got one within 20 minutes, that's just luck. There's a lot of RNG in uh, finding trophies. Which is why some people find a specific trophy way quicker than another person will. And some people may never find specific trophies. Lots of RNG involved. Nice, Raider. That is awesome. That is awesome. Hey, MBD Zero, you didn't miss too much. No trophies as of now, just been bouncing between a couple different bear zones, smoking as many bears as we can. Hopefully, Wyatt. I, I really hope we do get a great one soon. Hopefully tonight. If not tonight, hopefully soon. Wait, what was the weight on this? Okay, I think that's the track that we found over here earlier. Yeah, Deer Killer, I want to get one tonight, too. I don't know how it'll go, but I'm hoping we can. That's a female. Getting a bit too much pressure here. We might have to start spreading things out a bit. If we could find one more zone that we can consistently get the respawns to come back to this quickly, that'd be amazing. I'm thinking... Might just go bounce to these zones. 
Because I know that they get bears a decent bit. Why don't I use the night vision scope? Because the zoom levels are garbage. Can't bring myself to use a scope that has such low zoom levels. Get in, get in the stand! I hate when I try to get in the stand and my character jumps instead. Very unfortunate. Nice little level 7. Nice little level 7 though. Oh, a mythical. Hey! What is he doing? He, he's stopping and starting and starting and stopping and stopping and starting! Howdy there, Mr. Mythical. Lovely to see you here. Love to see those mythicals. 1,500 kills in the white tail. Great one. Grandma, 16 diamonds, 6 rares. You think I'm close to it? There's no way for me to know if you're close to it, Swift. No way to know. I hope you are, though, because 16k or 15... 15... Oh, 1,500. I thought you said 15,000 for some reason. Uh, it's hard to say. Average for a great one white tail is 1 to 2,000, so... Hopefully you get it soon. Great one has got to be soon, for sure, Jack, for sure. I believe so as well. Yeah, for real, dear killer. Like, I'm not sure what was up with that bear. He was being weird, to say the least. Little baby level five over here. Hello there, Rocky Oak. Nice little level five. There he is. Or am I blind? I thought I just saw him. Where is he? Oh, there he is. I'm not blind. He's just hiding in a bush. He's hiding from me. Thank you, Kirsten. I appreciate that. How much longer do I think the stream will last? Probably just as long as I can go before my daughter has to go to bed. It's kind of going to be all based off of whether or not she gets tired, like, in 30 minutes or 60 minutes or what. Usually, like, 9.30 or 10 is when she goes to bed, so. Probably, like, maybe 25 minutes from now, maybe a little bit later. We're not sure yet. We will see. Hopefully those were vitals. Uh, my daughter's just about to be two years old. Can't wait till Jaxie comes back. I know, all right. I'm excited. I am excited. If you guys haven't heard, Jaxie and I are going to be doing a collab at some point. Uh, probably going to jump in for a live stream and just have some fun. Run around shooting stuff. Maybe have a couple drinks. Should be a fun time. Should be a very fun time. Where did I shoot this bear? Did I miss it? I'm I didn't get vitals, that's for sure. All right, well, I guess we're just going to go back over here. Oh yeah, it's going to be an awesome time, Taylor. I'm excited. I've been wanting to do some streams with Jaxy for a long time, so it's cool that we'll finally be able to now that he's uh going back to making content. It's going to be pretty sick. Gonna be pretty awesome. I'm very excited. 
You predict a level nine? Maybe, Deer Killer. We'll see. What is the best gun for bears? Uh, let's see. I don't know if there's really a best gun. 338 and 300 Magnum are equally good for different reasons, I would say. 300 Magnum, it has a ton of power. It's super reliable with its penetration and how accurate it is, how little drop it's got. But the 3838, it's a little bit more powerful if you can get double lung, and with bears, you can easily get double lung with it. And it also has a larger magazine, but it's got more drop off. It's got a little bit more drop off, so that's the downside. But overall, they're both good options. 338 bolt action and 300 bolt are both really good for bears. Um, I don't know if he's going to do full time, Johnny. Why did he stop? Uh, Jaxie had originally stopped doing uh, content because he took the job at Expansive Worlds and just didn't have time. He was working uh, full time there. What's my favorite reserve story? Like the uh, the missions? I would say Tiabaroa. I like the missions on Tiabaroa quite a bit. The whole like uh, storyline of like the that elusive moose that nobody ever sees and you have a chance to like chase after it. I've always liked that. Hey Nathan, how's it going? We're uh, just smoking some bears, you know? Hopefully getting some great ones. Huh? Huh? Hopefully getting some great- No, no, no great ones coming out on cue? Okay. I see how it is. Just boop that level four real quick. Nice, Liam, that's awesome. Congrats on that, that's super cool. I think class six to eight, to be honest, uh, E-Mad Rat. Let's be honest, who's using a 300 Magnum for Cape Buffaloes and Lions? It, it just does not happen. It, it doesn't, it just does not happen. Oh, I can't shoot this, look at the pressure. Yeah, I can't do that. Can't shoot it, that'd be too risky. Could delete the zone. We're consistently getting respawns back here super fast though, like... Man, these two zones are just nuts. These zones are crazy. Uh, maybe Landon, maybe. I can maybe do a bear guide at some point. Let's go main menu, see if we can get them here. What time do they drink for the, uh, for the bears? Bears drink at 20 to zero, I believe. So like 20 to midnight, in other words. Ah, uh, this is a late stream, 610. It's currently 9 p.m. I want to try some different stuff to see if there's ways we can force these bears into their zones quicker, kind of like how we do whitetail and moose. With bears, it normally doesn't work. But maybe if we can figure a way, we could get them in the zones quicker. Like, what if I reset the time down here? Let's see how this works. Now that we reset the time, obviously they're not going to show up yet because we're within render. Or like we're too close for them to render in. Let's go up. And look down. Mm, no, it didn't force him in the zone. Yeah, I think that's just not going to work out, sadly. 
was hoping that we could get them to work like Whitetail and Moose, where we just reset the time at the lake and they get to their zones, but bears just aren't the same. Bears just aren't the same. We're just going to have to find what are the most, like, consistent zones where they get there really quickly. Because, like, I want to narrow it down to less places I have to go. If I can just find a few that are super reliable, then that would be amazing. Oh, it is, Johnny? Really? 9.3 is used for capes? I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Definitely a male. Yep, male right there. And a three. We'll probably leave that three. We'll probably leave that level three there. We'll take this five, though. Come here, little guy. You're looking quite smokable, if I do say so myself. Boom! Take that, and that! Oh, he's going down. Stands no chance. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I had always heard, Johnny. I had always heard like 375 and above. Also, I don't think I said hi when you jumped in. So, how's it going, Johnny? Hope you're doing good. I'm a little late on that, but how's it going? Uh, no, Hunter, you didn't miss anything yet. No diamonds or anything. Oh, yeah, Bo's got to do it sometimes. There's people in different time zones that don't get to watch normally, so... I try to do some streams at different times a day occasionally. That way everybody gets a chance to watch if they want to see a stream. I just realized we have 25 bullets left for our 338. I should probably buy ammo. Nice, Grayson. Glad you're liking it. Buy a little bit of 338 ammo. We're gonna hit up a couple more lakes, do like one more rotation through everything. And then I'll probably have to hop off. Aaliyah's getting ready to go to sleep. So, I don't want to keep her up by talking. Very, very soon though, guys. Um, we're getting we're getting her room set up. So, pretty soon she'll have her own separate room. And then I can stream later on some nights. Which is going to be kind of cool. It's going to be cool to be able to do some late night streams. Maybe some early morning streams. At times that we haven't been able to before. So you guys could definitely see some streams at different times of day. Oh, I definitely could, Taylor, especially if I'm having a fun time. If I'm having a fun time, I could just I could just chat forever. And not gonna lie, bears have actually been fun recently. Which is kind of surprising to to say. <laughs> Nothing there. Unfortunate. Alright, let's hit up. Hit up the good zone. Let's hit up the honey hole. Uh, yeah, definitely 610. Definitely. Because, like, right now it's 9 p.m. for me. Um, normally at my live streams, I start them at, like, 1 p.m. And so if I did it like four or five hours earlier, that's definitely like good for EU. That's definitely good for EU viewers. Because I'm pretty sure that 1 p.m. here is pretty late in the EU. That is a mythical there. Nice. Not bad. Oh, I love this zone so much. <laughs> oh, it's so good.
You know, I got a feeling that this is one of those zones where I could delete it and it wouldn't matter. I mean, all bears are solos anyway. So I could probably delete it and it wouldn't be a big deal, but at the same time, it's such a consistent zone, I don't want to risk it. So I'm trying not to get too much pressure here. But man, it's just so consistent. Like, it is incredibly consistent. There's not too many zones that I've found on this grind that have been this consistent, and I don't want to risk it. Nice little five there. Let's see if we got anything at this lake. Hey, Keegan, how's it going? Just smoking some uh, black bear as always. Trying to get that great one to spawn after the six bazillion kills that we've had on them. <laughs> I just want a great one bear to pop up. Like, come on. Show yourself. Show yourself, you silly bear. Nice, Talon. All right, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and call it there. Daughter's got to go to bed, so I'm going to hop off. But I appreciate you all watching, even though it was quite a late stream. But uh, it was still a fun one. Still a fun one. Got a lot of bear kills, too. Let's see what we got here. At least 20. Wow. That's 20 bears in 30 minutes. That's actually insane. Holy. I didn't realize we were killing them that quickly, guys. That's 20, 20 bears in like 30 minutes. We probably killed like 40 bears then. Well, maybe not because the first 20 minutes we were just running around. So like 30 minutes probably. Oh, yeah. Like almost instantly, Johnny. That's not bad though. Like 30 bears. Is that a that bear zone? It is. How did I not see it? Not a great one, track. Sad. Sad, sad, sad. All right, well, thank you guys for being here. We'll be back tomorrow with another stream and another video. Uh, until then, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.